Yo, welcome to a special Out of Towners edition of Ty Tunes. <laughs> beer, 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 beer. <laughs> See, all right. So to start things off, Scott and Trey have graciously said that they'll do the intro. They've got some choreography. <laughs> Knock it out. Come on, Scott. Okay, I'm gonna do that thing. I don't know what it is. Where you kind of go like this. <laughs> That is the non-millennial version of that dance. So, it's bad, and I know what it is. It's from Fortnite. It's a gesture or like a celebration, and it's called flossing. I was flossing. I floss all the time. You may remember, uh, recognize my boy um, Z Money, Zach, over there. Flying in from Texas. We've got the newbies, Trey. Say what up. What's up? What's up? And my boy Scott here. Hey there. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be asking you guys some questions. Uh, those submitted graciously by friends and colleagues. Uh, and then I got a couple of random ones that I just had to find on the internet. So let's get started. The first one comes from Paula, fellow Red out in Abu Dhabi. She is a huge Liverpool fan. Uh, we're friends along with hundreds of thousands of others on the Liverpool okay. Facebook group and Ta and everything else. So she says, why do you, and I guess she means Americans, put maple syrup on your bacon and why is it so shit? <laughs> and I'll start with you, Zach. First of all, I, I don't like maple syrup on my bacon, but I actually enjoy maple syrup on eggs. Okay. Yeah, That's like if, if I'm eating Do pancakes. you put it all over no, your no, breakfast I mean, like, or just the if, eggs? If I have pancakes or waffles and I happen to have mm -hmm. eggs, like for example, if you go to IHOP or International House of Pancakes, right? Or burgers now. Or burgers now, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you go there, you get some pancakes, and you accidentally get a little bit of syrup on your eggs. It's pretty good. It's better than ketchup. Yeah, I don't do ketchup. I, I put Tabasco on there. Yeah. Trey? Do people actually put maple syrup on bacon? Apparently. Come on. I think that's a stereotype. <laughs> and well, obviously, she said, yeah. you know, you Americans, you weirdos. I've never do done it. it. Never, never tried it. Would you try it? Sure. <laughs> would you think it would be good? Yeah, it'd be all right. Probably. Yeah. 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 It's sweet and salty. Yeah. You, yeah. The best of both worlds. Yeah. So personally, I don't like syrup. So I don't put it on anything. Okay. But there is an excellent donut place in Chicago called Stan's that um, has these maple icing with bacon on them donuts. Isn't that just called delicious. a maple bar? No, it's because it's got bacon on it, too. I've seen those before. So, yeah, that's what that's my contribution Solid. to the maple and bacon conversation. Good stuff. So I think you guys got the flow of it. We're all good here. Um, the next one, since you guys are all out of tenors, uh, what is the preferred method of travel? And I'll go right back to front here. Camel. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ridden a camel? No, I haven't, but I so think I would prefer on. that. <laughs> uh, I'll go car, because I can sleep. Yeah, but uh, what? When you're, you're supposed to be driving. Tesla? Oh, I thought we were... I didn't say driving. Uh, okay, fair enough, travel. fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I don't drive, my wife drives. Uh -huh. So, I just get in the passenger seat and just... Your wife drives you all so, everywhere. That's cool. That's I sick. Like Show first, car chauffeurs be at us. No. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, but he's he's all business, right? So she, while she's driving, he can be sleeping or he can be that. working. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 all right. Zach? I, I got to go with, I prefer driving. I like driving a lot. But there's nothing like flying internationally on like a 12-hour flight oh. or 24-hour oh. flight, depending on where you're going or coming from. When I go to Asia, I get treated like royalty when I'm on the plane because you get unlimited drinks. You get okay food, but you have people wait on you, you know, blah, 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 waiting on you, and you have unlimited, you know, movie selection and stuff to watch. So, if I have to travel, mm -hmm. I gotta travel in a seven eight seven or above. What are you <laughs> flying? Is that a real plane? Seven eight seven? Yeah, I think so. Those are the I'm super jumbos. Okay. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Those <laughs> are the ones right. where you go up in the air, and they have like a camera now underneath. So you can see what's directly beneath you. Oh, that's cool. Crazy that's sick. when you're landing or taking off. Oh, man, I bet. Every other part is just like, eh. It's just okay. like looking out the window. What's the airline? Cafe Pacific. Okay. And how often do you go out there? Not often anymore. <laughs> no. It's been two years now. I'm, oh, wow. I'm really 
I, I need another trip. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, so we have some business out there. And yeah, you can, yeah. You can bankroll it. Anybody looking for marketing services out there? <laughs> for Rio Group? The plug? <laughs> Are you serious? Get us a flight out to Hong Kong and I'll make the rest of it. Okay. <laughs> we'll never see him again. He'll be, oh, I'm remote. <laughs> All right. I am in Texas. I am in Texas. <laughs> keeping, keeping with the travel theme, uh, this one comes from Ellis, her very own. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, and that includes under that desk or, you know, under, under a bridge somewhere, where would it be? Trey, I'll start with you. Italy. Okay. Love Italy. Um, probably Positano. Just right on the is, there a, is there something that it's chill. famous for? Do what? Is there something that it's famous for? Uh, I have no idea. It's close to Sorrento. Well, we're in Sorrento Valley. Valley. Same it's thing. close to Sorrento Valley. <laughs> Valley. It's just like right it. Here. Yeah. You could, you could walk from down the street. Yeah. yeah, totally. No difference. That's sick. I've never yeah. been. I've, I would love to yeah. go to Italy, and I'm sure you know Dana and I want to get out there too. But yeah, lucky, awesome. lucky you, man. I've never been out there. <laughs> yeah. On me? Yeah, Bill, Bill, Bill. I've already been there before. It's called Bantayan Island. It's in the Philippines. I would love to live there. I want to retire in there. But yeah, if I could live anywhere in the world, it's a beautiful island. It's very remote. It has good Wi-Fi. Nice. But I mean, you could just walk out for a couple hundred yards and still be in waist deep water, and it's wow. like 80 degrees. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Oh, and you can get a beachfront place there, hotel room. For like 20 bucks a night. Wow. And they have great, great German food. 20 bucks a night. That would be How like 600 have... bucks rent a month. Yeah. <laughs> if you just live there full time. Yeah, exactly. They, How does it have great German food? Because of all the people from around the world that go there and stay there. And they bring their food, their culture. It's cool. I see. So it's a melting pot in these little remote destinations. But that that's my dream. Nice. That's the dream. How about yourself? Oh, well, you skipped Scotty here. Sorry. Well, my, mine, yeah, obviously. I know where he wants to be. <laughs> Do you want to be here in San Diego? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'd go for like a Savannah or Charleston, somewhere in the southeast. It's on the coast. Too it's hot. a smaller city. That's what I'd do. Too I'm hot. getting old, so Too I like the hot weather. weather. You don't want to go That's international? Good. Nope. I'm an American. I'll sing it all. Get your maple syrup and your, your bacon right. and I'm your eggs. That's a simple man. It doesn't well, do much for me. He's sheltered. <laughs> I'm <laughs> That's funny. Um, mine, obviously, Liverpool. Let's go Reds. Whoa, whoa. you I'll, actually want to live there? That would be the sickest thing in the world. The CCTV like surveillance show, all it does is like show all the crime in, in London. I saw wow. in London. Okay. What show is this? <laughs> Can I curse on this? Sure. I don't know anything about Britain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, well, Ellis, you're the worst. I appreciate that question. <laughs> Um, my buddy Graham, I don't know if any of you guys play video games, but I guess you could turn this into I a... I play Fortnite, that's where I Yeah, have right. <laughs> um, you could turn you this tell. into a mobile game or a board game. So he says, what's your favorite game out, and what are you excited to play? Uh, Zach, okay. Z-Money. Back when I had a system, I loved Call of Duty, but it wasted which, all my time. Which one? There's like 15 of them. Yeah, it was when it was like PS3 and I think it was Black Ops 2. That was a fun one. They just but, came out with Black Ops 4. That's awesome. Jack I, 3 and I killing it and Josh on there. I absolutely love it, but it wastes way too much time. So instead, I'm on level like 2,300 and something in Candy Crush. <laughs> God, <laughs> people still oh play my. that? <laughs> it's a great bathroom game. <laughs> yep, I said it. I said it on there. Hey, no toilet humor in this episode. <laughs> okay. All right. Trey, are you a gamer? No. I'll go board games. All right. Nice. We'll go with life. Spin it. Go around. Great game. Buy yeah, your house. That's really like life. My first house. That's how you got your first house? <laughs> <laughs> how old were you when how you bought your How many wives and kids did you have with that house? <laughs> Too many. Mm -hmm. okay. Head, were you a salesperson in this? <laughs> yeah, did you get all did you hit all your dream cards and oh, everything? Yeah. You retired? Got my log house. Got a good car. <laughs> Yeah. Kids are all off to college. They're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Start over. I never played Life. What? Never played it. Come on. Um, and then the very first time that I did play it, it was um, it was on a computer. It was a computer game of oh. Life. 
Millennial. So I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Millennial. Um, no, I was working at the Boys and Girls Club, and they had one of those games like loaded on the computer. So I'm glad kids... you said the Boys and Girls Club, otherwise we're just going to rip on you some more. <laughs> well, go ahead. But That's now you're safe. a good guy. So, I was, I was teaching America's youth, okay? I was teaching That's the next thing. generation. <laughs> Dana and I, she, she worked there too. That's how I met her. It's oh, a little love story. Is she there. one of the kids in the program? No! <laughs> <laughs> but you know that might be illegal. God. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to edit that part out. <laughs> that was bad, man. All right. Enough about me. Okay. Yes, God, what was the question again? Um, what kind game? of game? What game? Video I'm on analog. Mobile. And there's this game where you stand at either end of the table and you flip these dice and you try and make them get in the other cup. Dice or like, like ping pong? A die. Well, the, no, you do it with a die. That's harder. I never so, but you got it. It's like a yeah, drinking so game. Like, okay, it's so it's beer pong or whatever. It's like beer pong. Beer dice. dice. Beer dice. Yeah. Actually, that so is that it, right? That's might like to play. We might, we might have to play that. Let's on one of the future Titans. I'm down, and we're also going out tomorrow night, so let's go. Okay. Let's do Some something. Action. <laughs> uh, good question there, Gunta. Um, all right, so now kind of these funny questions. I'm going to say, what's the most dangerous animal that you would want as a household pet? And I'll go start with you. My dog attacks other dogs <laughs> anyway, so I already got it. It's like a dog fight. Like Michael Vick style? Well, no, not quite. <laughs> He's like right. betting out on it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's close though. We had to take the dog to the hospital oh, about man, two months ago because the other one ate its ear. It like bit its wow. ear and Mike and, like, Tyson the dog. Yes. <laughs> so that's so that's yeah. I like <laughs> yeah. You've already got it. That's All why right. dangerous I was, animal. I, was, I already got one. I don't want anything thinking, more dangerous than my dog. Fair enough, man. If you got sketchy animals in your house, that's right. I was thinking like raccoon or wolverine or something. But go ahead. Uh, can you talk? One. Can you talk, Scott? Can't. You can't talk. I'll Scott's go with a cat. Talks. How about you a cat? He's got it. Dangerous animal. Zach's gonna You're come missing up with the part of the question cat here. Going at it? Cat going at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you, how do you like I, Trey's I, accent? Trey, go not, ahead. It's, go. it's not an accent. I'm from New York. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and serenade us a little bit. I'll no. give you some time. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sticking with cat? The cat, yeah. Dogs and cats. you got to come up with something. Yeah, come on. You know give what? me something. I was Fish. trying to think of something. Frog. And Fish. then you reminded me of what I would actually like as a pet. A raccoon. Raccoons They're adorable. Are kind of cool. They're very cute and I moose. keep watching videos of them. They got these watch. hands that are... What about like the red, the red... Is it a red raccoon or is oh, that a normal. squirrel? Red squirrel. Oh. They're cute. They're cute, but they're bastards, man. They, they, they live in the in the gutters and they pop out with their little fingers and they'll, they're crazy. There's some over by my parents' house and they'll run up the driveway and like we'll have to honk the car and like rev the engine at them and they'll scurry off on. <laughs> we're just like, whoa, man, where the heck do we live? Yeah. Okay. How about you? How about you? you gotta um, get from the host with the most. I, I feel like this isn't part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Today. Um. You're. Your viewers get to know, learn a, a little, little bit, bit more about little bit more about me. Uh, damn it, I wasn't expecting this. I will, I'll say like, Neither I'll say, you know what, I'll say, I'll, I'll say badger. I'll say a little honey badger. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. okay. same thing, it's, it's skin is loose and it likes to move around and, and eat snakes, you know, and do all the things from that nature documentary. It'd be cute to sit there on your lap and pet it. And a honey badger on your lap might not be good. Well, this will be a domesticated, yeah, domesticated honey badger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, a it's, honey badger on my it's, lap. It's left its life of snake eating, <laughs> bee stinging behind it. So, <laughs> um, All right, cool. So the next question is, how would you get... Do you have to get your food? No. Not yet. <laughs> Keep that going. Uber guy is going to just pop in here. Yep. Um, all right, how do you get out of an awkward conversation, Zach? I'm always making conversations awkward, so I know how so to get into them. Really <laughs> but how to get out of them, this is an awkward question. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go this pick up my food. Gonna, <laughs> I just shut down. You're just going to completely yeah, shut, shut down. down. <laughs> okay. Trey? You just stop talking. Just That's the, it? The silent pause. Just... 
let it simmer. That doesn't make things even more awkward? Yeah. So are you expecting... And then you're out of it, and then they're done. But So that's the thing. If Like, if Zach's being having an awkward conversation with you, and then you just give him the awkward silence back, are you hoping that that shuts the conversation down, and he'll just be like, okay, cool, Trey, and walk away? No, you just... well, yeah, <laughs> you just you just let it simmer, and then their reaction, they they always just get creeped out and just stop. All right. Or you can just do the fake phone call, like. Oh, see, so that's like, what I'm looking for. for the example, juicy stuff. For example, I, I try to fake the southern accent, yeah, and you're not approving of it. You're Wait, let's good. hear your southern let's accent. Come on, y'all. I say, I say, this been a murder. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even give you one. You got a little foghorn leghorn impression there? But if I had to try, oh. I might try to speak like like Trey over here. Yeah, that's, that's Texas John, or something. Yeah. John, well, John he, he moved there. there. That's like Old <laughs> South. Is that Old South? Okay. <laughs> Brandon Crawford. Well, at least, Scotty, at least you can I just get a fake phone call or, oh, I forgot I got to do something. Talk to you later. Nice. Like looking at your phone and pretending you got Pretend you got that phone. Yeah, it's like, like, I got to take this call. <laughs> Or you could do the, uh, the what? Oh, oh, somebody's talking to me. I gotta, I gotta bounce here later. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you do it? I would say that. I'll just I don't think he ever stops talking to anybody. So I don't think talking he'd to ever get out of an awkward. I'm, I'm like you. I'm an instigator for sure. Let's go with that awkward conversation. Yep. All right. Um, whoever asked that question out in the internet, good one. Uh, so maybe finish off with this one. What? Um, hang on. Boop, 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 boop. Is it in another language? Beam, 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 beam. No, it's kind of a... So I guess, what's a good question to ask on a first date, Trey? And don't say, I haven't been on a first date in a long time because I'm married. <laughs> good Put question. yourself in the audience's shoes. Mm, tough. Always start off asking if they have any kids. No, <laughs> that's solid. <laughs> or you don't want married. any surprises. Or if they're married. Wow. Yeah, you don't want any There's husbands. There's a red flag there. That's fine. See, that's the tactical approach to the first date. She's trying to get Call of Duty with him. Yeah, like, like, What's good? That's, that's how you know if you should tuck and run or not. Yeah. That's when you do the fake phone call. And you're like, oh, peace. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? That was kind of a silly question because we're all married here, but go ahead. Yeah. I, I'm going to use the line my dad used on my mom, the line I used on my wife, which was similar to that. Wait, this is a line I, or the question to ask? And on the question. Date. Okay. Not really a first date, more like you just meeting kind of an opener. Hey, are you married, engaged, or in love? You settle all the. <laughs> you get <laughs> you all, the all the boxes. Stuff off. No, fantastic. Now my wife just looked at me like, and <laughs> just turned her head. I thought she didn't hear me, <laughs> so I repeated myself. Hey, are you married, engaged, or in love? Did you really? I did. Oh my gosh. And she started laughing and I thought she found that really funny. It wasn't until we were actually writing up our wedding story on the wedding website and she said, oh no, I heard you, but it was just so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I gave you a pity laugh and that's how I knew she was the one. There you go. <laughs> that is solid. Um, Top that. Yeah. And I have a, I have a funny wedding vows kind of write up thing too, but go ahead. Uh, do I have to pay? <laughs> <laughs> Solid stuff. That's Great a good question. That is a Especially good question. In Southern South Carolina. Yeah, you gotta be. You gotta... <laughs> Tennessee. I don't know anything about that place. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same. Damn. Damn. Do you have good. all your tea? That's a good time. Yeah, question. show me a right. smile. Show me a smile. smile. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, just, just on the, on that You're note. Terrible. On that note. So, and uh, this will probably be the end of it, but. Um, so like I said, I met Dana at the Boys and Girls Club, right? And mm -hmm. I, would, I wish I could say instant fireworks, but I was oblivious because no girl that attractive was ever taking an interest in me. So I hit, I hit the jackpot for sure. But on our first date, it was just a calamity of errors. So we met separately at the Padres game. She waited seven innings before she met with me. I was on a staycation with my parents. I had to bounce from them and go hang out with her. Then my dad said, hey, I need a beer, bring it back to me. So she met my parents and sister on the first day. Padres lost. Then we broke off and had dinner. Okay, that was pretty decent. Then we went dancing, and I thought I was the man. So I spun her around, caught her, and planted a big, wet, fat one on her, right? And I'm like, dude, I'm so good. Like I told my buddy, and 
all that. I was super happy. You know, fast forward to um, our wedding and our wedding website. And I'm writing this whole how we met story. And I go, yeah, you know, like really big deal. And she tells me, you know what? You, you didn't kiss me so much as you headbutted me. <laughs> so in all. my like zone, in my <laughs> reference. Fat lip and bloody. <laughs> no, 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 no abuse. But I, apparently I didn't plant it nice and clean on the lips. It was more of a bam, like a forehead to forehead kind of thing. Wow. But I love you, honey. So that's it. I appreciate you guys' time. I think you're food is here. Um, That's how I get out of one of these. Do you want to you wanna dance <laughs> your way out? Man. Nope, all done. No, no more dancing. Future episode, I'll get the next thing. The next right. new trend with all the millennials. Any, uh, any final business? No. No closing words. No closing We're words? We're those shiny white teeth. We're done here. You're Make sure you press you. follow right down there. Click here. Follow here follow. now. Hit the likes. You can catch all the latest <laughs> drops. Later.